Now the hair, back. Anyway, hi guys. Anyway, first question, my first question is who is the baddest? My first question is these questions kind of a little silly because people just silly okay guys who is the baddest got me people my cousin or Kim like I don't see how the world doesn't know that I can drop a video after this and let y'all see Rakeem, Gully Creep. 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 Give him a round of applause. He is one of the best. Period. Two. Question number two. How old were you when you first bust the split? I guess I was like two. I don't know. Oh, I've I've never stopped. Please stop. And are you still splitting today? Most definitely. If I get a little bit wrong with my system, I'll do it. And yeah, no problem. No problem. Will you ever stop? No, I don't think I would stop right now. No, I wouldn't. Sorry, I wouldn't. Will you ever? Yeah. Not. How dare somebody ask me that question? That's so mean. That's really mean, Dwayne. Dwayne, that is really mean. Why would you even think about that? That that's not cool. Anyway. Hmm. How did you meet your favorite person in the world? I always knew myself. Like I always knew myself. I I am my favorite person, like what inspired you to braid? I just always loved doing hair. Always. I always loved it from a child. Even though my family used to say, Oh, you can make no money doing hair. You can do this and you can do that. But I got it a stray off from doing hair, but I'm back at it again. Because I don't know but y'all just don't have faith in hairstylists like come on don't never ever 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 let somebody tell you you can't do something because you could how could you how dare they tell me i can't make money to nail like who is you excuse me what's the most embarrassing thing to happen to you one of the most embarrassing things that happened to me is one time i was old junk and old. I know for behemoth, y'all know John Canoe is be lit. But anyway, I was with my ex boyfriend and we was like walking all in hands, you know. Period. Walking all in hands. Oh there but my cousin, my cousin came and she hit me, you know, we don't take a laugh, so I ran. I went and I run and I hit her back. And when I hit her back, I end up as I was running, I fall. And like my boo was behind me and when I fall I get up and I start running again and like I just run and I hide for the rest of the night because like I, I couldn't do it like I didn't fall I can't go on with the night again she I was so embarrassed really embarrassed what's your biggest goal in life to be rich and lit let me stop my business is on the road just nothing to worry about that's one of my biggest goals who is one person you look up to um i look up to my big sister she plays she plays a big role in my life because like she's so humble and she just anything somebody throws at her she just sucks it up and she just you know, like me as a type person, from you have something to say, I ready to fight. 
I ain't even like I just started to mature a little bit and get out of that and realize you don't have to fight for everything because like I thought hey bad like I all right fight period I just have to go to her and be like I can't take it no more and she has to be like relax don't even let them feel like they both the masters up for you like they get into you she just yes I really really look up to her she's one of the yes that's my when did you realize that you're a really good braider? I don't really feel like I'm a really, really good braider as like how I want to be. But thank you guys for thinking I'm a good braider. But some work I do, I be like, oh yeah, this really look nice. But it ain't like how I want my work to look. It's been nice, but I still didn't realize like, hey, you a really good braider. Probably nice. Right? Who knows? A cheating story. I really don't have a cheating story because I don't cheat. Which ex taught you a valuable lesson and what was the lesson that you learned? I'm not going to call on my ex's name, so I'm not going to say which ex taught me a valuable lesson. But the lesson was to never get comfortable in people's things because it's not yours. Always get up and get it. Your own. Were there any people that was a heavy influence on your life daily? Oh, my big sister, Tonette. Who else? My ex boyfriend, Andre. Yeah, he was one of those. And my best friend, Glenrica. She always, yes, that's my day one, period. I don't know why I keep saying period, but we can leave that like that. What's your dream vacation? I want to go Las Vegas. I want to go Las Vegas and get white girl wasted and like just gambling. You know how you see it on the movies and stuff? Yeah, that's one of my dream vacations. Jamaica is one too because like I love to dance. Oh my god! I would love to go Jamaica and just like get drunk and just. Were you forever? Were you forever ride Blue Nation? Most definitely. It's my dog. You're my dog. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite hobby is? I really love to dance. I love to cook. I love to bake. I like, I love to do anything. It's just, yeah, I just love to do stuff. Won't you show me it? I just could do it. Will you ever grow up? No, I don't I don't see what to grow up for. I mean I grew it up a little a little and I started paying bills like that's so ghetto. I don't think I wanna grow up anymore. I don't I don't know. I can't I can't do it. But growing up some more, no, I will not do that. It was already a setup the first time, so no. Who's your favorite girl cousin? I really don't have any favorite cousins on anything. I just love, I love my family dearly, but to say have a favorite with someone or whatever, no, I don't. I had when I was younger, but not right now. Your favorite cousins. What's your craziest fighting story? My favorite, my craziest fighting story is when I got ganged. It was so weird and whatever just like these girls it was last year's school and this girl and her friends wanted to fight so bad and they came to me and they like wanted to fight and I was like y'all running on running on slap up slap up slap up all right cool damn well and as soon as I walk off you guys don't ever walk off when somebody wants to fight you as soon as I walked off she snatched me and she like started fighting me so I turned around and I started fighting the back and when I started fighting the back all the friends jumped on me and I just oh my god I hold like at all what are the things that contribute to making you the strong ambitious and intelligent young lady that you are today uh, I would say 
I just think on my past and I just never ever want to end up back there again so that what keeps me pushing that's just what keeps me going to say hey remember where you was before don't ever get there again so I just think about my past and just be like wow let me just get up even if I get lazy or I'll be like no get up and do what you have to do what advice would you give to young interpreters Never feel like you can do it because you can. And even if some days, all days wouldn't be good. Some you will have some bad days. Don't give up when you have those bad days. Keep pushing. It's the most boringest thing I've ever did. <laughs> stop. Oh my god. I think I'm just fine. I could be pissed, but I act like I'm not. I really remember when I.